Okay, once you open up Visual Analyzer 2011, you'll see these windows right here. This is going to be your wave window and this is your spectrum window. All you got to do is come up to the upper left hand corner, click on on, and either using your computer microphone or an external microphone that you've plugged in, you can see that this upper window is giving you a real time look at the, your voice. And down here, you're getting a real time analysis of the frequency analysis of the spectrum. Now, both of these are dynamic and they're hard to take a look at and analyze, um, so you need to capture them. So here we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a sound and right over here in the uh, right hand side of the screen there's a capture scope and a capture spectrum. So we can capture both of what's going on and then do some further analysis or just take a look at them. So, uh, all right. So what I've got here is a picture. Uh, a still time picture of the all the combinations of waves that were in my voice with that sound um, which you can use to do some analysis with notice that the time base here is in milliseconds so if you were going to measure a, a wave uh, period from peak to peak uh, something like that you could use this analyzer which shows you right down here okay that this wave is starting at a time of 43.5 milliseconds and lasts until uh, 51.42 milliseconds. Subtracting those two values would give you a nice uh, value for the period okay, of that part of the repeating wave. All right, but uh, a nicer way to work with uh, analyzing the frequency is to click on the frequency spectrum window. And what you can do to zoom in here is you can highlight. Generally, our voice frequencies are down here below 2000 hertz. And what you can do is it gives you a nice picture uh, over here you can move the waveform up and down and notice that uh, this will give you the frequencies that com are the composite frequencies of the overall wave. The addition of all of these frequencies together are what you see to make up this overall complicated waveform. So it allows you to dissect the wave, take a look at the individual frequencies and see what the fundamental frequencies are and what the overtones are in any note that you would be playing. Uh, if you want to zoom in again to take a look at it a little bit more closely, just uh, go like that and this can give you uh, a more exact value of what the frequencies are. So it's a nice way to analyze fundamentals and overtones and things like that. When you're done, you can just make a screen capture to show what you've done uh, and different things like that for your files. And that's it. That's how you can use Visual Analyzer to get uh, the picture of the sound waves you're looking at and the uh, frequencies that compose the wave.